In the same way that you might want to frame a finished print to make it look complete, putting a border on a digital image is a nice way to finish it off. But that's kind of tricky in Photoshop. It's not immediately intuitive. So I want to show you two quick and easy ways to do that. The first trick I'll show you in Photoshop here is with our rectangular marquee tool. And with that, we want to select the outer bounds of our image. And after doing that, we want to invert that selection. This is the area that we're going to fill. If we hit the delete key, we'll prompt our fill dialog, and we can choose what we want to fill that area with. Let's choose white. If I click OK, I'll get a nice white border around my image. Now if I wanted, I could hit Command Z, hit the delete key again, and let's try filling that with a color. If I come to color, I'll get my color picker, and we could choose one of the colors from the railing here. Now if I click OK, we'll fill it with the color from the railing. Okay, so those are two ways to add borders within the image. What if I want to expand one beyond? For this case, what I'll do is I'll just grab the crop tool and we'll expand the crop tool beyond the image. People don't normally think about using the crop tool to add content, but it's a really easy way to visually change our image and just expand it right there before our eyes. Okay, so let's come back to Bridge and talk about another way to do this, treating it more like a light leak. And I'm going to grab this TIFF, and I'm just going to hit Command-R to open this into Camera Raw. And if I come over here to my Effects area, I'm first going to move the vignette all the way to the right, so I can preview a really bright area. Then I'm going to move the midpoint all the way to the left. I'm going to move the roundness all the way to the left. And Feather will allow me to go from a really hard edge to a really soft edge, more like a light leak. If I take the amount, I can darken that, and I can have a dark area or a light area. The nice thing about using Camera Raw for this is I could save that as a preset and apply it to other images. So those are a couple ways to quickly add a border or a frame to your images and really change the way they look.